It all started with a leap. A chance taken by each and every one of us for a college experience like no other. An experience leading to endless opportunities. Our group of eight has been working, planning, and researching for what seems like a lifetime to pursue our coastal adventure. And now our final test begins with not a leap of faith, but a calculated step. Is it <laughs> recording? It is recording. <laughs> so today was our first day on water. We made our way to uh, Island Expeditions, packed all our gear up. Loaded up on the water taxi, shot across the water to Tobacco Key, where we started our journey. So uh, from Tobacco Key, we headed to where we are now, which is Hangman's Key. But yeah, Six weeks. Um, we still got some improvements to make, uh, like uh, setting bearings and just getting used to the sun. The sun is killer, and I think all of us uh, kind of got beat up today, but that's all right. We got some learning to do, and this is an experience. So today was fantastic for our first day. So it is day two on water here at Hangman K. We changing our day a little bit as there was uh, some suspected thunderstorms a couple times during the day. So we ended up paddling around the islands behind me actually, which is pretty cool. Did a little paddle around there. I uh, found this really nice spot for some snorkeling. We did some practice for our snorkeling system. Uh, so we paired up into twos, practiced getting out and back into our kayaks. Uh, afterwards, we did some garbage pickup of the, on, around the island for about an hour, uh, clean things up. ready for dinner. It's been a great day. So today was a great day. Uh, we started up by getting up at 6.30 a.m. and having breakfast burritos uh, here at Hangman Key. Uh, we then packed up all of our stuff, got into our boats for 8.30 and left the island to head out to a small uh, snorkeling reef that we had found over our satellite imagery before we came here. After we spent an hour and a half there snorkeling, uh, we went over to Billy Hawk Key and had a wonderful lunch. Uh, and then we went through the Blue Ground Range looking for garbage.
we collected a ton and it was awesome. We got a whole raft full and then we ended our day at around four o'clock here again at Hangman Key. And now we're making some great lunch. Dinner, <laughs> dinner. Bam. <laughs> So, um, day four, we had one little uh, mishap, a little blip, like a raft with all the garbage that we had picked up, and we just threw it in the raft and didn't really think about it until you know, later. It turns out there's like a sharp piece of plastic sticking out one of the garbage bags that popped the raft. So, while we were in the middle of our open water crossing, the raft popped and there was just like garbage sink it down into the water. So we all rafted up and we divvied it out amongst uh, everybody, strapped it to the back of their kayak and we continued down to uh, Twin Keys where we had, uh, had a quick snack and then went all the way down to South Water where we had lunch, dropped off the garbage and yeah, then hand headed all the way back to uh, Billy Hawk. Alright, so day five on water, pretty good day. Um, it was a hot one. It was the sun was beating down, no clouds really, just all sun, full sun, full humidity. The UV index was pretty high, so we had to be all screened up. Basically made our way through the blue ground range. A little bit, the side that we didn't touch on before already. Just exploring in there, picking up some garbage that washes up in those mangroves. Pretty cool trees in there. Uh, garbage traps though. So, picking our way through there, doing that. Did some snorkeling in the mangroves, which was pretty neat. Um, some pretty cool tunnels through the mangroves that we were going through uh, with our lifeguards keeping watch. Uh, but it's pretty cool to see the marine life that lives kind of on the edges of those things. Um, but yeah, all in all, pretty good day. Did some exploring, picked up some garbage, got some snorkeling done, some good paddling, and yeah, drank lots of water, which is key. A good day. All right, so it's uh, day six. Uh, we woke up at uh, Billy Hawk this morning, and then we headed out to uh, Wee Wee. Uh, we did some uh, snorkeling down there. But yeah, after we, we we went straight to bread and butter, uh, set up camp here, and uh, now we're just hanging out. So, I just wanted to uh, tell us what happened last night, buddy. <laughs> well, <laughs> we got uh -huh. smacked yeah. in the face. <laughs> By God. Got <laughs> pelted, man. I've never seen a storm like that before. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Six o'clock, uh, ate breakfast, cleaned everything up after the big storm, so it took a little bit. Um, we got out on the water at nine. Uh, we paddled three and a half hours to South Water Key. We had some wicked waves and wind. It was intense, basically no breaks. We just wanted to get here. Uh, once we got here, we had lunch, 
Uh, we set up camp, went snorkeling for a bit. Now we're basically just chilling. This is our second last day, which is super exciting. But uh, yeah. That was Day eight, it's been a pretty smooth sailing day so far. We've just paddled from South Waraki to Tobacco Key. It's about nine kilometers. Waters were super calm. We saw amazing aqua life, like best like last paddle of our day ever. It was pretty sweet. What started as a calculated step is now a lifelong memory. 